The residents of Philadelphia Street are now in the open after they were served with an eviction order from the master of the high court. The family says it was not even summoned to appear in court prior to an eviction order. Documents seen by the NBC News suggests that the name appearing on the summon purported to have been served is not that of Joel Arab or any family member including Vistorina Garises. Mr. Howard does not speak to us anymore. He does not answer our phone calls. We have sick help everywhere at the Ombudsman, and the last time we even went to the presidential town hall meeting, and we were promised to get help from the CEO. Got no help to date. The family says in 2011, Howard approached Vistorina Garrises, Arab's granddaughter, who worked for him as a domestic worker for eight years and told her that he wanted to build her a house as a token of appreciation. Garrises then informed Howard that he can build the house on her grandfather's plot. Howard apparently offered to pay $36,000 for the cost of the plot and the money was directly paid into the municipality account. In 2016, however, Howard made a U-turn when he allegedly forced the 78-year-old Arab to sign off his rights to the house while Garrises was in the hospital. But the transfer of the house to Howard's name was also in contravention of the municipal regulations that says the property cannot be sold in seven years. The family knocked on many doors for help, but not even their councillor, Margaret Mensa Williams, the city's mayor, police and ombudsman stepped up. This issue was also raised during the town hall meeting in Venthook. Garrises is now jobless and the family saw rely on a small tax shop outside the premises. The affirmative repositioning movement has now decided to challenge the case in court. They have the farms, they have the houses, they have everything. They still come to Kadutura. I spoke to this guy and, and he's been arrogant and that's why we are taking this issue seriously. Because we are in understanding of the story, it's a complete irregularity. Now, this is the summon, eh? the combined summon. So that's why we are also questioning the involvement of, of court officials. Even in terms of this agreement, we think this agreement is illegal. Because we, our interpretation is that these white men simply have, how do you buy a 300 square meter house for 36,000? What is most shocking, he says, is that the sales agreement was signed before the municipality and Arab signed a sale agreement. Meanwhile, Mensa Williams says her office made attempts to find a solution to the problem, but Howard has not been forthcoming. She says the city of Ventuk is now temporarily taking care of the family, but the family dismissed these reports, saying they are still without any help. I'm Daniel Nadunya, NBC News, Ventuk.